This is Blast from the Past, where we will regularly upload a vintage video so you can enjoy these classic oldies but goodies. Bob Hope was uh, taping a special in the studio a few weeks ago, and I, I happened to walk in, and they were doing a scene. It was the last special that played with Burt Reynolds and Diane Cannon. Those of you who saw the show might remember they did a, a poker game. And they cut to Diane, and all of a sudden you saw the cards go into these intricate fans and cuts and shuffles, and this young lady was the stand-in. You never saw her on the show. They would just cut to the hands, then they cut back to Diane sitting there. And uh, it's rather unusual to see a young lady yeah. who does flourishes and manipulations with cards. I thought you might like to meet her. Would you welcome? Her name is Tracy Newman. Tracy? <laughs> And that's exactly the way it happened, true? Yep. Saw you down sitting at the card table, and you were, uh, I guess, a hand stand-in. Is that what they would call that? Yeah, I was uh, Diane Cannon's hands. Yeah. Have you done that before in, in motion pictures or anything else? Uh, that was was that your first time? First time uh, where you could really see anything. Yeah, because I know John <laughs> Scarney and a lot of people like that and other uh, fellows who work cards have done it in motion pictures before when there's a scene. Uh, and yeah, so they forth. used to have uh, men do uh, women's hands because there weren't any women doing this. And then, I think you're the first gal I, I've met. I know girls who do magic as such, you know, the whole complete magic act, but who does just the, uh, the cards? How did, how did this, this start? It's unusual for a gal. <laughs> it is unusual. I, uh, I saw a magician at the Magic Castle. Yeah, that's a great place out here in Hollywood. Well, you remember. Yeah. Right? It's... Uh, I saw Ricky Jay there, and he, among, you know, with the magic, and he's very funny too, but with all that, he does these manipulations. And I was, you know, impressed with the magic, but the manipulations, I, I just couldn't. I just kept going back to see that. It was just unbelievable. Yeah, they call them flourishes. As you know, I used to do yeah. magic as a kid, and when oh, I, I was do. intrigued. Well, not like you do them. You really have got them down. I haven't done them for years. Uh, now, I know you practice hours and hours and hours, because I remember as a kid, I drove, and I've said, told the story on the air before, I drove my mother absolutely stark raving bananas, how she ever went through it, because all I would do is go through the house, watch this, watch this. <laughs> as soon as you take a card, take a card. And, you know, by the time I left home, she was ready to go right to the home. Uh, no, because it is. You want to show right away if you learn anything. But I know it takes hours. I sit for hours and hours and hours and literally do a cut and, and, and the backhand palm and all those things. Um, how many hours a day do you do this? Do you, I, keep, you have uh, to keep up with it. It's not oh something yeah. that you uh, leave alone for a few weeks. I started, when I was first learning, I did uh, sometimes six hours a day. <laughs> That's true. And you'll sit in front of a mirror usually. No, I didn't do. I just would watch television. Well, I did and because I had a great body in those days. <laughs> I did mine naked, you know, just to <laughs> keep the interest going. When I got tired of the magic, I look at the body a while, and then I'd, you know, it's, all, it's all relative. Uh, so you do. You don't work in front of. Now you see. You got to get a close up to see what she's doing here. It's uh, a nervous habit. <laughs> yeah, I would do that. You would sit wherever you are with a deck of cards in your hands and just uh, do these cuts over and over again. So we're going to get a close-up camera. Now we got a close-up camera there, so if you stay right in that area. Okay, I won't move. Now what you're doing is taking the bottom half, putting them on top, right, with mm -hmm. one hand. Now that intrigues me. Widen that camera shot a little, Bob, and, and, do, that, do, and do that pressure spread again. Look at that. Now you would swear those cars were connected together, right? This is just a regular... Bicycle deck. Bicycle deck of cards. This is my favorite move, too. I don't know. I see. I, I know it's a it's a pressure thing, and you have to release. But what do you call that particular uh, maneuver? <laughs> <Love the> sound. <laughs> what? what do you call that particular? It's called the hopping spread. The hopping spread. I used to do that too, but I was also naked in front of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Toledo. In that was in Toledo. Yes, but that's a long story, <laughs> and a dismal one, I might add. <laughs> okay, now you're doing a. Yeah, I don't know. That's. Uh, I've never seen that done before. <laughs> I'd call it an angle. Uh, can you get this? Yeah, yeah so you put you the cards at it? right angles. Now you put them together. That's, That's the one you did a moment ago. And then you did a cascade. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We have another deck. Six I'll hours to tomorrow. Oh. Another Two deck. decks, no my waiting. <laughs> when you say my deck, you see what, you, when you, you oh, manipulate yeah. these decks a while, they get in a little better shape, don't they? You can't yeah, all... I can't just take a new deck and, and no, for instance, doing there? do a... Uh, oh, um, oh. Doing a, sh a cut within a cut into the it's middle. It's a one-handed shuffle when the cards <laughs> intertwine, but they're a little... Good heavens, you cut the deck, you mix them. Can you do that one again? Sure. I don't know if they caught that. You cut the deck with one hand, uh -huh. interlace them, yeah. mm -hmm. and now by bending them, 
You shuffle the deck. You ever sat down at a table in a poker game and do that? The game, you know, automatically, <laughs> automatically ceases. I did a deal. Um, Can I try one? I, I hate to compete. I, I do not compete with you at all. No. Huh? Diminishing one. The diminishing one. Oh, no, oh that's, yeah. That's, that's, I can't uh, that's do that. an old one. We'll do that. Uh, that was great. Oh, it's, been, it's really been a long time, and I'm not trying to... As you can see, it's been a long time. If I had my clothes off, this would be dynamite. <laughs> Now, let's see, there was one where you used to take them out of the middle, right? Mm -hmm. Like this, swing those out oh, and put those on top. Yeah. But you gotta, you gotta catch them and then push them back there and bring them out. That's a good one. Like hmm? yeah, you spent a lot of hmm? hours with I this. used to spend a lot of hours doing that, but now show me that pressure thing. I do not do that. Well, I don't have a full deck. I guess it doesn't matter, though. Now, you, okay, you, you bridge them. them and then you bridge them in here. Uh -huh. Right, now what? And then you just sort of release them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting you on. That, that is not easy. It's just it's hard just... to bend the deck. All right. <laughs> All right, now there. Oh, very good. Now what? Just let them go. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah, do that. Well, the diminishing cards where you'd start with a deck. I don't have I don't have a full deck either. Then you take them here and kind of push them down a little, a little smaller, and you come down a little more until they were down like that. Then hmm? you take the whole things, you know, and do that and get rid of them. <laughs> oh, been a long time. You do that great. I did a, a deal on the Bob Hope show that. that oh yeah, I remember. Now, don't get, wait a minute. Where do we get a close up? Okay. Get close up right here, Bob. Now, do the, get your hand up in here. That's it. Now, watch this deal. I should have a full deck, though, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. When it gets going, it's real great. Got the little thing behind that. <laughs> that I don't understand at all. I'm about out here. You see, you make that look very simple, but hours and hours and hours of practice yes. going to something like that. Now, do you do this? Uh, this is not your main vocation, is it? No, I, uh, I write songs and sing and perform. Yeah. Play the guitar. Do while doing this? Or? <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, I'm, I'm trying to incorporate this somehow into, uh, you know, a club act with that. Right. Do you do magic but, as such? I mean, outside of what, what they call the flourishes and the manipulations, uh, where you, I, uh, I know two tricks, tricks, and it's and going to take me about five years to get them to the point where <laughs> were you ready I would to dare show to them? do them in front of anyone. <laughs> That's I'm so very afraid of being caught, you know. I yeah. think that you feel most awkward them... when you're trying to palm a card? Oh, yeah. Worst thing when you start, you know, and they teach you how to, what they call palm a card, where you've got it in your hands, is to not let people know it's there. You know, and you've got one in your hand like this, and to sit and do something natural and natural. hold the deck and move without thinking that people, it's there drives you crazy. Yeah. What? Do that very well. No, but once you, once you do, you have to move and, and you know, do normal things. Right. You used to do all that, didn't you? Oh, you uh, had three. Three. We'll be right back after this. Word from the Chrysler Corporation. We hope you've enjoyed this blast from the past. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Come on, you can do it. And if you've enjoyed this series, be sure to share with your friends. And if you haven't enjoyed the series, be sure to share with your friends. Why should you be the only one to suffer? Ciao for now and stay safe.